Make-A-Medic was founded with the aim of supporting medical students and facilitating public health initiatives in developing countries. This year, we used some of the money raised from our events and resources to fund a vaccination training program in Uganda, in partnership with the East African Center for Vaccines and Immunization. Little over 50% of children in Uganda have received their routine vaccinations, and this means that there are multiple outbreaks of vaccine-preventable diseases that have many socioeconomic consequences, such as children not being able to go to school and parents not being able to work. Barriers to effective vaccine uptake have included a lack of sufficiently trained personnel and misinformation about vaccines and their potential side effects. The students that we sponsor to go on this course will be able to embark on outreach operations where they can educate and empower the local population. Here are a few clips of the students explaining how they benefited from the course. I want to thank Make a Medic for supporting us and sponsoring us to attend this NKV course. I feel more empowered, I feel more challenged to go out there in my community and emphasize the need for immunizing young children against these killer diseases. And now in the context of COVID-19, at least now I have the expertise information from people who have been qualified and who know what they, they talk about to go and fight the myths out there, especially on social media, a lot of misinformation. I once again say I'm very excited. I look forward to going in the community after here and implementing what I've learned. We learned a lot about the barriers or to immunizations and the future on which the barriers can be looked at and addressed. I got a lot of knowledge from experts uh, given the current state and the role of vaccines in the current times. I would love to say that this course came at the right timing the COVID-19 pandemic, which had enormous misperceptions against vaccine uptake and adherence, especially among our very Ugandans and people from all over the world. We were blessed with experience from experts in East Africa, especially our doctors, the pediatricians in Uganda. It's now upon us, medical students, to work in collaboration with health workers, especially the nurses, to make the process of vaccinology or immunization a joyful exercise. I'd love to say thank you, Ekavi. Thank you, Mekamidi. The myths and barriers which we talked about in the, in the lectures really, really changed some of us, our minds. Most of, all, most of my classmates are not taking up the vaccine, are clinging to some of these myths, if not all of them. I'd like to thank uh, uh, Mekamidik. Dr. Lasty, who gave us this opportunity to be able to attend such a wonderful session. It has been a wonderful journey full of new adventures, full of knowledge and discovery in our communities. There are so many beliefs and myths about them, and it's our role as health workers to promote these vaccines. I would like to thank the CAP for giving us that opportunity that we are now equipped and ready to go into the community to educate them, to advise them, to look out for the different loopholes and solve them and work together as a team for the betterment of the world. Thank you so much. Initially, when Make a Medic was founded, we did very much focus on medical students and what we can do to enhance their experience. However, then we quite quickly realized that there were quite a lot of pretty big public health problems in various parts of the world. And we also realized that medical students are actually quite a useful workforce where they can gain a lot of experience and also they can have a massive positive impact on their communities. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported us so far. These projects would not have been possible without you. And we sincerely hope that you will continue to support us as we embark on ever more ambitious projects in the future.